All right, Brooke, you finished fourth in the Olympics. Fantastic. Uh, you're fourth in the points heading into here. Uh, assess your chances. You know all these riders you're going against, I'm sure. Just uh, assess your chances heading into this. I've gotten fourth the last couple races, which, you know, fourth at the Olympics was hard enough. And then um, to come into last weekend, which, which we had, we have two more World Cups left. Um, so last weekend was the first one. And uh, I got fourth there. I'm fourth in the overall standings right now. Um, I do have a chance of getting the overall top three. Um, so I'm just looking to better that fourth. You know, I, last weekend I made a mistake. I was, you know, had the fastest time all day. Um, ended up had, it, had second gate pick. Um, me and the girl who had first gate pick, we had a very close time in our semifinal. Um, she had lane one, I went lane two. And my focus should have been more on just riding my own race and um, it would have been fine. And I ended up, I focused too much on getting a good gate and, you know, getting out on her. And I did that, and once I did that, it was like, I didn't know what else to do after that, you know? And I, I bonked the first jump, and it cost me the race. I ended up shifting back to like sixth place, and ended up getting four still, but it obviously, I was going for the win. I wasn't, I wasn't going for a fourth place. I wasn't going for a second. I wasn't going for a third. I was going for the win. Um, and then, you know, this, this is gonna be the, sa the same this weekend. It's, you know, there's, everybody who's in the gate is, competition no matter you know their age their experience whatever if you're you know the top eight in that final you you know any it's anybody's race um but this weekend I really just want to focus on myself and you know just riding the best race that I possibly can and enjoying it because you know like it's been hard to get back into things after Rio you put everything you have into four years into one race and then one that once it's over it's like well I, I'm not really motivated to do these other races but it's still something that I want, and there's a fire inside of me that I, I've never won a World Cup. My best has been second and third. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm really determined to get that win, and I, I hope that it's here this weekend. Just talk about, we talked to some of the other races, Corbin, their parents put him on a bike at age two, no training wheels, immediately got his balance. What's your history on the bike? Yeah, so I, uh, I ended up started racing. I, I was riding a bike at four or five. Um, I started racing at six, and the only reason I started, I have a brother who's five and a half years older than me, and he wanted to get into it, and my dad ended up buying us bikes as a surprise, and he surprised us with it one night at the, tr at the local track in Tulare, and um, I didn't even, at the time, I, I actually cried when he gave me this bike, because I wanted nothing to do with it, and he's like, it's okay, I just bought it so you didn't feel left out, um, and so by the end of the night, I wanted to try it, and I tried it, and I actually made my parents run behind me holding the back of my jersey, the whole track. I wouldn't let them let go. Um, and then after a couple times, I finally did it on my own, and I was hooked since. So you were in high school, you, and we have a lot of athletes down here that play volleyball, softball. Yeah. You never went into those conventional sports? You stuck yeah, no, I, no I, played, I played basketball. I actually played pretty much all sports growing up. I did. I did swimming, I did basketball, I did softball, I did track and field. Um, you know, it was like, my parents always wanted me to do whatever I wanted to do, and I really always wanted to be involved in the school sports, and, um, you know, but BMX was always my priority. I missed out on lots of sleepovers, lots of, you know, high school parties, those kinds of things, because BMX was my focus, and, um, you know, as a senior in high school, I was focusing, I graduated in 2011, and I went to the Olympics in 2012. Um, so my, my mindset was a lot different than my friends at the time, just because, you know, my mind was, I, I can't go out on a Friday night because I got training Saturday morning. Um, and so there's a lot of sacrifices made, but, you know, in the end, I wouldn't change anything. I've, I'm 23 years old, and I've traveled the world to race my bike, you know, and I love it. And I have friends all over the world. Right now I have a girl from Ecuador and a girl from Australia who are living with me. Um, we train full time. We have the same coach. So it's like... I would never have those opportunities, you know, to have these friendships all around the world. So I'm forever thankful for this sport. And it's just, I was just a kid who, you know, I didn't want anything to do with it at the time and um, who ended up falling in love with the sport and with the people. And it's just, it, it, this could be anybody out here. You know, any, any kid can get involved in this. And it's such a good, I was telling somebody else, it's such a good family oriented sport. You know, my. My parents went to every race with me growing up. You're not gonna see as many families here this weekend just because we're all professional athletes now. We're at the elite level and 90% of the people are from other countries. So, you know, 
families can't afford to come come out. Um, but if you go to a normal USA BMX race, you'll have, you know, it's the coolest thing, is what sport can you have a 60-year-old grandpa racing with his grandson who's five, you know? And you, you can do that, you can ride together, and it's, it's just such a good family-oriented sport. I can't, I can't express that enough. You're right in your racing prime, the next Olympics. Do you see yourself still on the bike, still trying to better your fourth place finish at the next Olympics? Yeah, so I, uh, I said as soon as I was done with that race in Rio, I came across the line, I'm like, I hope, you know, I said it to my, all my people in my corner, I hope you guys are ready to stick, stick around for another four years, because I'm not satisfied with a fourth, obviously. I got eighth in, in London, I got fourth in Rio, so the way I look at it is four more is gold. So um, I'm just gonna try to keep that pattern going.